There was a time when I went every afternoon into a church. Since a girl I was in love with sat there in prayer, and I was able to look at her without interruption. Once when she had not come, I felt compelled to eye the other supplicants. And I observed a young man stand, walk to the altar, and throw his whole lean length along the floor, clutching his head with both hands and sighing loudly, pumping his body repeatedly. Only two old women were in the church, and they kept turning their heads sideways to watch. Their awareness of him seemed to please him, for before each of his pious outbursts, he cast his eyes to see if they were looking. This I found unseemly, and I made up my mind to accost him and to ask him why he prayed in such a manner. Yes, I felt irritable because my girl had not come. He stayed away for the next few days. My girl was there. She was wearing her black dress with the transparent lace top over the shoulders. The crescent of her undergarment showed under it, gracing the arc of her beautiful neck. And since she had come, I forgot the young man and did not even concern myself with him when he returned and continued to do his devotions. Yet whenever he passed me, he always seemed in a great hurry and turned his face away. One afternoon, I stayed too long in my room. Nonetheless, I went to the church to see my girl. When I saw my girl was not there, I thought of going home again. But there was the young man on the floor I was reminded of my first encounter with him. My curiosity revived. I went on tiptoe to the doorway. Gave a quarter to the blind beggar who sat there. And squeezed in beside him. And for a whole hour, there I sat perhaps with a crafty look on my face. And then he came. He was walking cautiously, testing the ground lightly with his feet before setting them down. I rose up, took three large strides forward, and stood between him and the door. Good afternoon, sir. Sorry? I would like to ask you some questions. Please let me go. If you do not give me an answer, I will begin to yell right here in the church and everyone will hear. Okay. Please, let's go outside. To my car. I have a constant longing to catch a glimpse of things as they might have been before they showed themselves to me. Once when I was a child, just waking up from a short afternoon nap, still half asleep, I heard my mother calling down from the balcony in the most natural voice. She said, what are you doing, my dear? It's so hot. And a woman answered from the garden. I'm reveling in the grass. I'm reveling in the grass. She said it so simply and without insistence. As if it were to be taken for granted. I 
don't find that incident to be the least bit remarkable. In fact, I don't believe it to be true. I believe you've invented it. Made it up for some special purpose which I can't even fathom. And when I said that, he seemed very delighted. He even remarked on how well dressed I was, and that he particularly liked my shirt and its perfectly ironed collar. I then left, happy to have had the conversation, but decided never to return to the church again. <laughs>